Welcome back, you beauties. Let's get excited about cricket, which is a strange thing to say because the summer of cricket is officially wrapped up. Of course, that happened yesterday with the Proteas Whoa, doing what they needed to do, beating the Netherlands to qualify for the World Cup later this year. And it was an action-packed summer with the inaugural SA20 taking the local scene by storm, which was so good to see. Regular competitions also providing some insane entertainment for cricket lovers. And a man who was pretty much a part of all of that action is Western Province cricketer Kyle Simmons. Kyle, welcome. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you, thank you for having me. Um, how are you feeling, bud? When does the chill kick in, or is it already thoughts on on next season? Where where are you and your ecosystem right now, bro? Um, still trying to wake up. <laughs> still <laughs> nice start, so appreciate that. Uh, yeah, we've been done for about six weeks now. Um, I go to the UK for five months for their summer. So just enjoying the time that I have in Cape Town while before this, the cold sets in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and it's cold, but I've yeah. set my family there over this weekend and it's freezing that side. But um, an incredible, obviously, moment of inspiration yesterday. Let's talk about qualifying for the World Cup. We kind of knew, as you were yeah. saying, that we would do this against the Netherlands. That being said, you've still got to get it done and cross the line, and they did it in style yesterday. How big is this for the team in this kind of regrowth phase that we've been going through to, to know that we are going to the World Cup, man? Yeah, well, I think this so the series started last year, and then they postponed it, and they finished the seri series this year. So it was always something we had to look at just to qualify, and I think expectations were to qualify, um, especially against the Netherlands, but you just never know. There's a little bit of nervous energy, and I think the pink ODR, just another campaign where yeah. the Proteas somehow just bring it out. You think of innings as like the Villiers back in the day and yeah. everything like that against the West Indies. We just seem to get it done at the Wanderers and um, yeah, just World Cup qualification secured. Um, it's a beautiful thing and it's, and it's hopefully inspired a lot of young cricketers just like the SA20. It's a development tool when we look at what the IPL has done for the yeah. game of cricket to create obviously the, the opportunity to earn money on that level yeah. is an amazing thing for, for cricketers but it just becomes this cauldron of talent and you were in the cauldron there. You <laughs> had a blast it looked like. Talk us through that experience. Did this feel, it looked international, did it feel like that? Talk us through your SA20 experience. I think like you said the money was, was, was what everyone sees first yeah. but I think it's the exposure for the guys that aren't quite on the scene just yet. Um, guys who aren't really making their way, that's where you get your chance. But then comes with the chance, there's the opportunity, you have to perform. There's pressure, yeah. um, there's crowds that we haven't seen in South African cricket in a long, long time. And I think, like you said, the RPL helps that with those owners. And yeah, so I was playing club cricket when I got the phone call to go join and life changes just like that. And yeah, like you said, the come down has started, but <laughs> it's exciting to see what goes, up, what uh, goes on forward. Yeah. Because it's a different, uh, yeah, I use the term ecosystem, it's a different world now. There seems to be a much more solid link between local, provincial, international opportunities. The fact that you're going to apply your trade internationally is great. The local, the domestic scene has been great. From a Western province perspective, maybe not the best. Yeah. What's going on there? <laughs> um, I think we were, we were in good positions this year. Making the one-day cup final, again, just coming short, that was a bit un unfortunate. We entered the second half of the season in the four-day comp top of the table again and again just not quite getting over the line frustrating I know it's frustrating for everyone in the Western Cape to to see that but behind the closed doors in the change room it's yeah we we kind of want to install a punching bag in the change room just to take a bit of anger out. just frustration really yeah. that's all I think we know we have the talent it's now just putting it's performances together yeah it's just that little click and sometimes the individuals do need to stand up you have the opportunity to go to the UK now, and that, I would imagine, requires a bit of a, a, a re-kind of calibration of the brain. What's the goal there? What do you want from your personal trajectory to get out of this time now? What does it speak to in terms of your overall career goals? So I just want to keep being on the field. Whatever team it's for, whatever level it's for, just get on the field. I think the only way that your game is probably going to get better is by, by playing by playing cricket or rugby or football or whatever it is. Just, just play, I just want to be on the field and I think that's what England offers me. If I stay here in the Cape, I can do a good pre-season, which is also important. Um, but five months of cricket over there... Against I the best in the world, yeah, man. I can't, I can't, um, can't deny it's, it should be good, hopefully. <laughs> it could also be bad. I mean, you never know, only time will tell. Lessons will be learned either yeah. way, my Definitely. friend, but you seem to be on an incredible arc right now. Um, it's amazing to see where you started to where you are in such a short amount of time. So keep doing what you're doing, which Thank is delivering much. on the field, exactly. my man. And getting up nice and early where we ask <laughs> him to come in on his day off, because <laughs> it is officially their day off and they work hard in season. Buddy, all the best for the trip overseas. Go and continue to smash and make your mark. Share some love with him as he heads abroad. 
abroad. And of course, you've been loving this cricketing season. Let us know which teams you support. 0634088863. Show some love this morning.